What are you doing? I said stop making noises. And you picked the noisiest <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh my god. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan because I'm Vietnam Vegan and I look a little tired because I have eczema on my skin and it just makes me look a lot more tired than I am. I'm actually not that tired, but today is going to be another What I Eat in a Day featuring this guy. This is my Christmas present. The Instant Pot. A lot of you guys were asking me for Instant Pot recipes and I'll be honest, I had never had an Instant Pot or a pressure cooker, so I asked for one for Christmas and now I'm going to experiment on them for you. And also, today is another day where I'm dog sitting bear. Say hello, bear. He always just sits on the mat, like, probably because it's not cold. Hey, bear. Are you excited to be on the vlog again? What is this? Okay, bye. So right now it is one o'clock. Oh god, this lighting makes my eczema look crazy. Hey, look, it's Eddie. Hey. Hello. He's, he's literally licking my toes. Why? God, the eczema looks really bad. So I have it like on my neck and on my eyes. It is from a combination of stress and eating nuts. Oopsie. Uh, so this is why I don't eat nuts anymore. Um, and probably having bears not gonna help it, but you know what? Worth it. So we're gonna eat some food because it's one o'clock and I haven't eaten anything yet, but we also woke up at like 10.45, so. Well, I've soaked some beans. Might as well make some black bean soup. Put in some onions, I guess. Okay, start. Uh, saute. Start. Go. Go. What do I do? What? On. Because you get the little fire. Is it, is it on? Yeah. How can you tell? It says on. I don't hear nothing. What do you expect to hear? I don't know, sizzling? <laughs> they told me to do an initial test run. Does this even know me? We don't do test runs here. This is the test run. Yeah. Ooh, I hear it. It's sizzling. It's making the sounds. Cool, exciting. He's just chilling on his pee pad. Are you pooping right now? What's going on? I just took you for a walk. What are you doing? Because typically in black meat soup there's bacon, I'm gonna use some leftover smoky tempeh and I'm gonna chop it up and put it in there. Add this in. Got some decent brown in here. I'm gonna add in some garlic. Freezer burnt. <laughs> Come hang out with me. Things are looking good, smelling very bacony. I've got bear down here beside me. A little bear. I guess I'll add beans. Deglazing the pan. Add some water. Some mushroom broth powder. Maybe a little bit more. Some oregano. A couple bay leaves. I'm gonna stir that in. Let's put the lid on. On. Now I go? So I just leave it now? Is there a go button? Okay. All right, all right, all right. I hear you. I see you. Okay. Here's hoping it works. Okay, it's been like half an hour. I think I left it for an extra four minutes. It says four minutes on the thing. You can't really see it, but it says four minutes on there. So let's open it up. Let's see what it's got. Off? Do I hit? Ow. What am I doing? How do I get it out? Is 
Is that what I'm supposed to do? All right, I let out the steam. Let's check out the soup. Are the beans cooked through? Let's find out. It looks pretty legit though. Oh, there's some soft ass beans. I'm gonna blend it partially to get some creamy texture. Not like super blended, just a little. I found a bay leaf. I'm gonna take that out. It's pretty good, but it could use some more salt. So I have some salt. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic powder. I'm gonna add some pepper. Maybe a little nutritional yeast. It's a lot waterier than I expected. Maybe I'll use less water next time. It's not bad for a first try though. Give it another taste. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. It's not my best soup, but it's not my worst soup. It's very watery. I'm gonna add more nooch. I would give that like a seven out of 10. Could be worse, could be better. Less water next time. All right, I'm gonna eat this. Probably gonna eat some English muffins with it to give it some, you know, more substance. And then we're gonna keep watching Parks and Rec and play with Bear, because he's the cutest. So I also added some jalapeno chips. I also added more soup, because I realized I was a lot hungrier than I thought I was. And then some English muffins and butter. Bear already had his lunch. He's the most chill dog I've ever met. And he's a puppy. Hello, so I just took Bear on another walk and then I decided that I was hungry and I was putting away some of the soup so I had some leftover that wouldn't fit in the container that I was putting in and instead of putting in another container, I decided I'd just eat it so <laughs> I'm having some soup. Um, Eddie went to go get stuffing because yesterday we went to a Christmas buffet that didn't have vegetarian friendly stuffing and he was very upset about it so he went to the grocery store and got some stuffing um well like the croutons or whatever so i'm gonna make him some stuffing tonight and i think i might defrost some of the seitan that i've made before so we can have like a semi thanksgiving -y type dinner minus potatoes so i have my soup i don't have like a ton of it just a little bit and then i have a burnt english muffin and a regular english muffin hot sauce i think that about does it yep Gonna have some soup now. Oh. Who's that? Who's that? Who just came home? <gasps> Who's that? Who is it? Go see. Go see who it is. <gasps> who is it? Hello. <laughs> we have so many garbage bags. Or not garbage bags. Grocery bags. Well, I didn't bring Hey Google, what time is it? It's 8.53. It's a little late for dinner, but here we are. So Eddie really wanted stuffing, so I'm making stuffing. If you guys want the recipe for the stuffing, I already have it. I actually already have a video for it as well. Sorry, I'm distracted because I'm, I'm trying to keep an eye out on there. I'm trying to figure out what he's doing. I've got some butter in here. I also processed some carrots, celery, and onion. Yeah, today's been a pretty like weird day. I've just mainly been trying to like heal, I guess, relax, and try not to get too stressed out. But today's Tuesday, and I should have a video out for tomorrow, and I'm getting a little stressed out on that sort of aspect of it, but I'm trying to like let things go and like actually relax. It's not working. I just keep thinking of all the things I need to do. So we're gonna cook up these carrots, celery, and onions. So I have some very freezer burnt garlic. Wow, so freezer burnt. Can you pour me some chocolate milk? That'd be great. Thank you. Are you excited? What? Stuffing? Yes. 
So I've got some flax egg that's adequately gelled up. I'm going to add that to here. Let's do one whole table or teaspoon of thyme because Eddie really likes thyme. Some parsley, maybe that probably seems good enough. <laughs> his head is just like, like his nose is just against the heel of my foot. What a weirdo. Do a teaspoon of sage. Maybe also some garlic powder to top off the amount of garlic we put in there. A little bit of nooch. Like, why not? Stir that in. And then I will add the water. Some vegetable broth. I don't know how much I use though. I'm gonna look that up. It's in my recipe. Two tablespoons plus one teaspoon. So seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I pour all the croutons in. Things are looking quite soupy, as you guys can tell. Time to dump in all the croutons. I think it could use a little bit more water. Stir it up. I added some mushroom broth into this too. Okay. I just feel like I want a really soggy stuffing. This one homogenous glob of gluten. Mm-mm-mm. I almost want to add like more dollops of butter in there. Just, you know, for some buttery, salty goodness, you know? You might be thinking, Lisa, that is quite a bit of stuffing. And you might very well be right, but it's not gonna stop me. Stuffing is the best part of any holiday dinner. And we were robbed of it yesterday from our Christmas buffet thing, so I'm making my own stuffing. So gently mash it down, you know? I got a little more dots of butter. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven for like half an hour. Meanwhile, make the rest of the meal. Now I considered making something with potatoes, but honestly just a little bit too lazy. So I have some of the uh, ends from my seitan, if you recall from my seitan video. So I kinda wanna make like a stew, but like not so labor intensive as a stew. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta like chop it up a little bit, make little cubies. Yeah, just something sort of stewy. So there's like a bit of sauce to go with the stuffing. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna make your own seitan roast, which is what I did uh, for my Thanksgiving a recipe over there. Just gonna cut up this onion and then Let's get to cooking. Hey Google, set a timer for 25 minutes. All right, 25 minutes, and here we go. That thing is the best. Well, Eddie bought this Google Home Mini from my friend Janella, which actually you've seen in my Green Monster Soup video, I think it was, or what I eat a day. I don't remember. This video. And she had an extra Home Mini from her work, so she sold it to us. I'll admit, I was skeptical at first, but it's pretty great. Setting timers, it's gonna be helpful for me when I'm developing recipes. I'm probably still gonna write it down in a notebook because I don't trust myself slash technology that much. But it's pretty handy. It's helped me figure out what's toxic and not, not toxic for dogs. So I think I'm gonna slice this up. So let's make some sort of stewy situation. I mean, it's not really a stew. I'm just imagining like a saucy, beefy dish, you know? Let's start some stuff off with a little bit of oil. Fat carries flavor and I want this dish to have some flavor, gosh darn it. Yesterday was leg day, or was it the day before? Christmas Eve, we went to the gym, which was leg day. And then yesterday I shoveled the snow. And today I'm just all sorts of sore. So I have a, a little under two cups of broth here. Let's go with a cup and a half. And then we'll fill the rest of it with random bits and bobs. So maybe a little tamari. And a little Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire? Worcestershire sauce. You know, meaty substance. And then, of course, some mushroom broth powder. Salty umami goodness. It's a good idea to add a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar for a little acidity. Might have been a little too much, but that's okay. Just stir these onions. A little garlic powder. Maybe a little bit of Marmite. Not like a crazy amount, just like a little bit. You know, just to get it going. A little thyme. 
little bit of parsley. Basically, I'm seasoning it like stuffing. I gotta deglaze the pan because my onions are getting a little brown. I'm gonna use a little bit of this liquid that I have here. Lift up the browning that we've got going on. All right, so that's looking good. I'm gonna add in the seitan. It's about two cups of seitan. Oh, you know what I should have added? A little flour. That would be good. A little bit of a roux. Maybe like a tablespoon of flour in there. Thicken things up. So let's add in the rest of the broth. I'll be honest, this is sort of coming out like a French onion soup. But Eddie hates French onion soup, so. You know what, that's pretty good. Hey Google, how much time is left on the timer? 15 minutes and 49 seconds remaining. That is handy. I think it needs a little bit more saltiness, so I'm gonna add a little bit more tamari. I'm wondering if I should have browned the seitan. I don't even know what to call this. I do want it to be thicker though. Okay, I'm gonna clean up. I will be back once everything is kind of cooked, you know, unless I change something to this, but I probably won't. It tastes pretty good, so. Me or me. It's like not quite as thick as I want it to. I want it to be a little like creamier almost. So I'm gonna add a little bit of cornstarch, like a heaping tablespoon. I'm gonna grab some of this to create my slurry. Stir it all up. All right, then we add it back in. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, that's some stewed goodness that I'm feeling. I feel like we should probably eat some more vegetables, but. I had applesauce today. I didn't put very much sugar in that. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. Guys, I'm freaking pumped, pumped. Oh, look how cute he is. He just loves the little bath mat. He bear, it's time to go to bed. Time to go to bed. Go, go lie in your bed. Look, we made a bed for you. Go lie in your bed. Time to bed. Yep. Yep. Oh. Good night, puppy. Good night. So this concludes what I eat a day. It's a very boring day where I eat random food and cook it and share it on the internet. I'm a little delirious because I'm tired, but I hope you enjoyed watching this even though I didn't do that much today. Today was like a, like a vacation day basically where we just stayed home, watched Parks and Rec pretty much all day and then played League of Legends, which was a good day in my books. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, comment down below. I don't try to make these videos perfect or like whatever. It's just me living my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a delicious day. Bye. Bye. Did you enjoy our walk? Did you have fun on our walk? Or you sniffed a lot of dog poo? He just like lodged his tongue in between my feet, or in between my toes and just left it there for like a second. Da -da 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 -da. Hi, Tickles. <laughs>